There's an amazing hen that injured her leg when she was just a baby and it kind of doesn't work. She'll jump into the coop, she'll jump into the nesting boxes, she maneuvers around, she's, she's like one of the top chickens. You know, there's a pecking order. And then we have a one-eyed chicken somewhere. We have 325 chickens now. We're not organic, but all our grain is naturally raised in Washington State. Um, it's all certified non-GMO, it's corn-free, it's soy-free. They run all over the place and they can eat bugs and, and they do a great job tilling up the garden. It's great for the chickens and it makes a really wonderful egg. The yolks are amazingly bright orange and, and they cook up really nicely and they taste different. We sell our eggs to New Seasons. It's convenient for people to be able to buy cheap eggs. I was looking at Fred Meyer, I think the cheapest eggs were like $1.99 a dozen. And you know that's a factory egg from California or Texas. People have to be more aware of where their food comes from. And I think we are really lucky because there is such a consciousness about it here on the West Coast. The whole thing about local is you're getting your eggs from places like our farm. We don't have the advantage of you know huge discounts on feed. We're all hands-on. We don't have employees. We have to do all this ourselves. We do our own labels, our own packaging, our own washing. It takes me a couple hours every day to gather eggs, wash eggs, package eggs, print out the labels, uh, get them all packed up and put in the refrigerator for, for delivery on Tuesdays. There's usually some crisis that has to be dealt with, you know, somebody has eaten somebody or, you know, the rats have gotten into, well, just this morning, I was down in the basement and rats got into my plum pudding from this Christmas, I was, well, I figured, well, they're probably really happy rats because there was a lot of, there was a lot of brandy in that. <laughs>